we have to get the water sample in the bag and then we have some uh some of the co alert right here we just dump this in the water shake it up put it in the incubator for about 24 hours and then we uh we have a comparator right here also this will be what a positive e coli sample would look like so that's the actual that is e coli it has e coli in there wow it up about to the fill line right here. Yeah. Then you just pop the top on this. Pour a little in there. Tighten the bag. Go ahead three turns. Fold these forward. Then we mix the cold alert in there pretty good. We're just going to go ahead and go to the next place. Once again, I'll take out the uh, cold alert. Disregard all chat alarms while conducting maintenance. So this is the incubator we're going to put it in. It's already turned on because we've been using it. Just want to set the samples up right because they tend to leak out of the top. It's not the best seal. And we just sit there and uh, time it for about 24 hours from now. So about 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Come and get it out, check it, compare it to this. All right, so it's been 24 hours. We're going to go ahead and take the water samples and take a look at them. Make sure there's no E. coli in there. And what's the temperature in the incubator they've been cooking at? Right now it looks about, let's see, 30, 40, 50s. About 160, a little less than 160. Okay. All right, get these two samples. And they're labeled to show where you got them, right? Correct. First, we're gonna hold them up side by side. I got the control sample right here. And it's luminescing because it's gone. It's positive. Yeah. So what does this mean about the wardroom water? It's good to drink. It's not as luminescent as the control sample. Here's the one from the FBDS. It also looks to be uh, like a negative sample. Good to drink. 